What up, Dope Pride Nation? Welcome to Luke G's Field Review, and today we have a good one. And I think this one is important for me to report because I have been saying this for the longest, that too often we as fans focus on the mere results versus focusing on the overall problems when it comes to our team. And so today I have an interview with John Kenzo, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, I apologize, that he had with former Detroit Lions quarterback Joey Harrison. And what I want you to do is, is just take a quick listen into what I heard that really was alarming to me and that lets you know just how bad things were in Detroit and why some of you people who are angry, frustrated, upset, uncomfortable, uh, and just not happy about this team, but yet you still watch, this is the problem that y'all need to be focusing on, okay? So I'm going to play this interview so you can hear it for yourself and we're going to talk about it a little bit because when I hear people be so angry at the Detroit Lions and get mad at what the general manager is doing now and, and things like that, it makes me wonder just how much they know about it. So let's listen to the question. Part of a lot of a lot of teams. Where have you seen that work successfully when you're bringing somebody into the room who's got some fresh ideas? Everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, that, that is the that is the key to to building successful teams. Is, is what you said. Having a head coach who is not afraid or is not threatened by somebody else's ideas. I, I, my best examples of that aren't necessarily the success of, of that, but rather the opposite, where in Detroit, um, you know, uh, we, we had a coaching staff that was made up purely of the, the Bill Walsh coaching tree, uh, guys who had always been in that system. And I remember sitting there uh, as a rookie and we're having, you know, going through our protection schemes and, um, you know, things have evolved since 1986, since 1988, when you know, in Bill Walsh's heyday. Um, and 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 I was looking at a protection and, and a, a potential blitz that would come off the backside. I said, okay, great. So I have this protected. I have this protected. Um, if I get free safety and a, uh, you know, if I get a weak corner uh, and a will linebacker, a free safety and a will linebacker off the backside, can I just redirect the protection? Do I have a side adjust on the backside? And they said, no. You just have to buy time and make a play. Say what? Say what? You what? Okay, hold on, people. Hold on, hold on, people. Did y'all just hear that? Did y'all just hear this man say during the time that he was in Detroit, and he asked them about making adjustments and, and being able to adjust his stuff so you know he can slide protection and stuff, and he was told no, don't do it. He was told that. Some of y'all are so quick to judge the player without thinking about the situation, okay? Some of y'all are so quick to not understand that coaching is the biggest deciding factor in winning and losing. But I'm going to let Joey Harrington feel like telling you what occurred after these coaching staff members told him, don't make the adjustment. Just keep on listening. I was like, what do you mean by time to make a play? I've got an 18-yard comeback you know, out there. I... I, I I'm not fast. You're not drafting me because I'm fast. You're drafting me because I'm smart. You're telling me I have to make a guy who's more athletic than me miss? That doesn't make any sense. Why can't I just redirect the protection and protect myself and then make a good throw? And the answer to me, and I will never forget it, is because that's not how Bill Walsh did it. Oh, my God, people. Here is a guy who had an inside look at our organization, okay, during his time here, going through coach after coach, bad draft after bad draft, giving you an inside thought to what the Detroit Lions organization was hiring for coaches. They were trying to capitalize off of old success, and they tell this man that not only can you not make adjustments, but the reason you can't make adjustments it's because that's not how Bill Walsh did it back in 1980. When do we take Joey Harrington, people? In the 2000s? Were you going to tell a person in the 2000s you can't make adjustments 
Because that's not how the coach how the how the coach in the 80s did it. And y'all go off on the players. Now, before I got on YouTube, I have always been a big supporter of Joey Harrington because I've always felt that the Detroit Lions ruined Joey Harrington. I always felt that had he went anywhere but here, he would have had a very successful career. And it's just that once he got here, they destroyed his confidence. They destroyed his abilities. They literally gaslighted him and, and, and almost gave him Stockholm syndrome at this point. Because what they did was they, de they didn't give him a chance to utilize the one thing that made him special, which was his brain. And on top of that, he had the ability to make the play. I'm going to give you a little bit more, and then we can talk about it. And at that moment, I should have known that this was a sinking ship because they were so afraid to move on from the ideas that had been successful uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago that um, they weren't they, they were willing to let other good ideas into that space. Um, and that was, uh, that, that's one that still hangs with me today because that's not really how Bill Walsh did it. Well, you know what? I'm not Steve Young. <laughs> that is the exact point that I am making people he he is telling you that they've done this I guarantee you they've capped Matthew Stafford that's why when you saw Stafford doing some of the things earlier in his career it was the coaching staff that was having to do that stuff okay they were capping it and I bet you for a person who's coming in you know and I know somebody's going to come in the comic section and be like well you could have he could have just vetoed that and did his own thing and if it worked what they going to do bench him yeah yeah and then you already see how they how they uh how they are sitting up here uh making sure that people like colin kaepernick don't even get a chance but they're going to try to go out and get jp lossman out of retirement really and then you don't think if a, if a quarterback all of a sudden now is not listening to the coach that the word around the league is going to be oh he doesn't listen to the coach Oh, he goes rogue. He does what he wants. He has a poor attitude. You can't coach him. You can't coach and play with him. People, just take a second to think about this for once. When you're looking at your Detroit Lions and things are not going right, and you want to sit there and you want to blame your quarterback, just take a look and think for once. It could be the coach. That's it for right for now. Um, please hit that like, subscribe and notification button and until next time please don't be no chump please please do your research